Hey, this is Danny Marie 911 coming at you live on the Xbox One with We Happy Few Part 19. I have my gas mask from the last one, and I'm going to go explore in that icky, nasty, poisonous pond. And hopefully survive. Maybe we'll sleep for a little bit so we can get closer to night. So I want to finish that nighttime one, but unfortunately it has to be done only at night, which is honestly a little annoying. I also need to find a sewing kit. Which means I might have to break into some people's houses. Yay! Still alive. Wah, wah, wah. Shit. Well, maybe the bodies will eventually decompose. Well, sleep till it's about been seven. A hard day's night, that, was. that way, hopefully, we can get the night thing too while we're at it. Let me just double check and make sure. Yeah, I still need one more sewing kit. Okay, where am I going? I'm going there. I still have to do the treehouse thing. And then the awkward courtship come nightfall. Let's go the right way. I hate nightfall stuff with all the plague victims now. It's frankly a little annoying. It's not ringing today. Can I... Oh, already taken all the coins. Yes, it is back working fully and not freezing. Which I'm very glad for. It was actually an issue with my router needed updated and that combined with the Twitch settings on my Xbox made it difficult to do much of anything for a while, but I finally got it all fixed. So I'm going to make it a point to check my router at least monthly and make sure it's all the way up to date, and if not, update it. I'm also getting so I check my Twitch settings before I start streaming to make sure it's actually streaming in a decent rate. Because even after I reset everything, for some reason it put the bitrate at 200 still. And it doesn't auto-fix itself for some odd reason. But I do like the better resolution. That's always a plus. There's still glitches, but I think that's just the game itself. Just kind of expected. So my last play earlier today, the biggest glitches I had was that people and items kept floating above the ground. I had a bench that floated, a few people that floated, the grass was even floating. That was fun. Okay. There he is. I feel awful. You, you wouldn't happen to have an antiseptic bandage, would you, mate? I can probably make one. Or not. 
Apparently I don't know how to make that yet. Aww. Okay, well I'll have to come back and do that later. What else can I do? I have to wait till nightfall for that one. Let's find a house to break into because I need a sewing kit. Straight on. Very worried if there's coughing very up blood. And indeed, yes, that might be a sign of something nasty like cancer or pulmonary embolism. Okay, so it's not abandoned house I need, it's ruined house. I always forget which is which. Yeah, I got this whole streaming issue fixed. Probably... about two weeks ago now. So hopefully it just keeps working. Is there anything up? Ooh, there is something Hush, up there. Says the sun as it tucks me into bed. Okay. Yay, made it. No, I want that. Because I need everything. I don't know why I need everything, but I need everything. And all the berries. All the berries are mine. Nice. It's an area I haven't completely stolen everything yet. And my phone just went off and made a cute little doom, doom, doom. Which is kind of fun. Uh, if nothing else come nightfall, I can get those. Let's see. Explored every house here. He doesn't have an antiseptic bag. Ditch. Let's see. I don't really feel like going all the way back just for an antiseptic bandage right now. I don't want to go too far because the past couple nights, as soon as nighttime hits, the plague victims come out in force. Hmm. Got about a half hour in game time till nightfall, so I just gotta waste a little bit more time. And then I can go sneak up on the couple. Berries! I guess I can try. Pretty sure he doesn't have any, if I remember right. It was healing balm. Hmm. Where'd you go? Yep. Oh. I know it says RS to go between shop and inventory, but I hit L... What is this? RB and LB, and it switches between them as well. So I can actually sell stuff now. That's kind of nice. Remember, we got your back. We being the puppets, because puppets can do so much. Not sure I want a puppet to have my back. They're not really even puppets, they're dolls. Going the wrong way again. Almost night time. Is 
So I need a recipe for an antiseptic bandage. Yeah, I'm not seeing any in here at all. Hmm. I can make antiseptic, which I know I've got plenty of, but not a bandage. Huh. Come on, nightfall, hurry! I wonder if the bench is still floating. I'm not sure even knew what fitting in was. The bench over here earlier was floating, as was some grass. And, yep, it's still floating. But it's letting me sit this time. It wouldn't let me sit last time at all. Easy to get around at night. Yay! The odd hooligan. There's lots of hooligans. And the plague victims are back. Joy. Everything all right. And he's floating he's again. He's become jealous. Of you. Me? I told him I'd run into you. And he started asking me how long we'd been seeing each other behind his back. I know when people go wakey wakey things happen to your brain. He's always been jealous of you. We haven't seen each other in ten years. I used to mention you to him sometimes. Oh? That's why I couldn't stay in touch. Oh. It's why I shouldn't be here. Seriously? Christ, she still loves him. I hope he knows that. Man can be awfully dense. There's also supposed to be mushrooms growing on this log. Okay. So what other quests do I have to do? Not many that I can actually do other than the main quest, which... I mean, where's the fun in doing the main quest? Nope. Maybe it is time to just start indiscriminately killing them all. Maybe I can go sit for 12 hours or so? Hey, it'll let me sit on the floating bench again. There we go. We're just going to sit on the bench and read a newspaper Except for 24 for hours. Never know the stars. Drink some water. Eat some food. <laughs> Carefully. Okay, it's time to kill plague victims. There are too many converging around where I need to go. We. Too many. So, there we go. Lovely day for it. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it here, does it? I thought we could stroll along the shoreline. I can't. Or we could stay right here. I can't leave him. I know you want me to. If he's not right in the head, he needs me. He loves me in his own way. In his own way. Don't be clever. I don't want to remember you as merely clever. Remember me? They can't do this anymore. I found a hardware shop. Fantastic stuff. On Limor Avenue by the Hollow. I want you to have it. If I can't, be with you. That's far too kind of you. You probably shouldn't go yourself. The neighborhood's a bit rough. I'll tell Harold. Don't tell him it's me. Obviously. Very generous. 
What is that? What is that? Still no yummy mushrooms. Back to the bench. To wait another 24 hours. Because oh, I want man. to finish Just this quest. Maybe in hell they just don't let you sleep. That'd do it. Eventually we'll get this quest done. How many nights do they have to flirt? You changed your mind. Harold's dead. That's terrible. Who did it? He didn't come back from the hardware shop. Oh god. It's rougher than I thought, I guess. Was it you? Was it me? I want you to swear it wasn't you. I swear it wasn't me. I couldn't be with you if it was you. I swear by the gods of my people, it wasn't me. Kiss me. Please, kiss me. Kiss me. We won't need all of this. Yay! Well, that's a happy ending. Except for Harold, I suppose. So, whoa, I hear people. I got a cleaver. That's all I got out of that. And coins, of course. And skill points! Let's see. Give him a wallop. Hear better. Double damage. Let's see. I want to get to that one. For sure. Hmm. I think I'm going to save up to get that one. And then that one. So, I'll get that if I ever go back. That one, I need a bandage. That one, I need a sewing kit. That one is broken. And that's it. So, I guess we're on to that one now. So time to cross the bridge. I guess while we're at it, we might as well go home. We can get the bandage and... Shit, got seen. At least I'm not over encumbered. That would suck. Cause I'm really good at being... How do I keep losing my healing stuff? Cause I swear I had more. I don't know. I guess it says I need to make some... Medicated bombs a little better. Oops. Helps if I press the right button. Four, five, seven, eight nine ten there that way we've got plenty just in case I need it hum stronger springer no I guess what you say in chalk and gibberish yes you are Oh, let's see. This path looks to take me straight by my home. Ooh, Barry. Straight by my home. So we'll stop by the house. Have a rest. Is there any ruined houses to break into? 
There is actually right there. Ring ring. Please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. There was no rabbit in the hat. There was no rabbit in the hat. I really don't get most of these. Where are the Americans? Where are the Russians? You see nothing. Go play with the plague guy. Something's burning up there. Apparently they're scared of the plague people sometimes. Oh, well, at least he's not angry towards me. Look at the pluses. Positives, pleasant. Hey, I'm about to wake some people up since I can't disable a kit. Uh. Hmm. Nope, I don't have any throwy things. I can't. There. It's a murderer! I'm not a murderer. Come quickly! Help! Somebody help me! Please! Okay, woman. I, I just need a sewing kit. I just need a sewing kit. Give me a sewing kit and I will leave. Well, I'm going to take everything else too, but... I mean, might as well take it all while I can. Sugar! Du -du 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 -du. Okay. Ooh. Okay, woman, you can quit squawking any time now. I just need a friggin' sewing kit. I'll take everything else too, but... Isn't it past yours? Oh my! I'll still take everything you have. Well, let's smother you next. <laughs> Oops. He says he's unconscious. Hopefully, he'll stay that way. Ooh, I see alcohol. Okay, woman, did you? I need you to go to bed. I don't want to. I don't. I don't recall inviting you. Okay, if I have to take you out, I will. Okay. What are you gonna do about it? I got a pipe too. Mine's stronger. Uh oh. Go back to bed. There we go. I only had to kill one. That was funny. She kept popping up and then going back to sleep. See, it says she's unconscious. It says she's unconscious, and I didn't get her shovel. I want a shovel. Can I take the teacups? Apparently not. But I need more teacups for my collection. They look dead. 
They sound dead, but it says they're unconscious. So I'm gonna hope they're unconscious. And set off the alarm. Oh, I can sneak under the alarm. I just need a frickin' sewing kit. Okay, no sewing kit in this house. See, she's unconscious. Here, I'll, I'll be nice, I'll even take her to bed. Once I figure out where her bed is. Here, we'll just presume, oops. Oh well, she didn't want to be in bed with him anyways. Okay. How did I miss that one? Oh well. So I still need a sewing kit. So I can make the creepy suit. Let's see. What's the next house I can go into? It's up there. I'm guessing I'm going there. Oops, wrong button. There's the button I need. Yeah. I think that's where I'm going. So. We'll take out the hooligan. Wannabe Bobby. And down you go. Now you can't find me. I'll take whatever. Just a lock pick. Because I want to oh do dear. this too. Oh I didn't hold it long enough again. One day I will remember to hold the X button down until it is finished. Maybe. And I don't want to deal with the plague. Hi, you have the plague. Go away now. Somebody's angry at me. No being angry at me. I should let my person sleep for an hour so they're not so tired. Oh yeah, I wanted an antiseptic bandage. I only have one. I don't want to go back right now. So we'll wait. Let's get rid of some of this weight. I'm gonna need my good suit soon. Don't need a lot of this. Is that good or rancid? Rancid, you. It'll make me sick. Yum. Keep that just in case. Okay. Oh, how far do I have to go? Yeah. I might find a sewing thing on the way, so I might as well just walk it. I forgot to sleep. My person is so sleep deprived, he forgot to sleep. So back down. To the bed. Mm. I'll sleep for a few hours, oh. get him rested, good. You'll move, Sam, man. It's almost morning, which means the plaguers will die, and the Bobby wannabe hooligans will soon go away, too. Okay. What is... 
Oh, that's Faraday's workshop. That's why. That won't do me any good at this point. Oh, we'll go to the next house. Yeah, we're online for that. And it looks like all the little people with all the plagues is gone. Or not. So we still have a few to avoid. It's not morning yet. Nope, you see nothing. You see nothing. I disappeared. I will kill you if you come after me, so don't come after me. I'm trying not to kill everybody. I just want to steal everything. Okay, go on away. Okay. I just need a sewing kit. Ooh. Riding boots and a syringe. Nope, no sewing kit there. What else you got? I'll take your yam and your sugar. Nobody in here. Ooh, what can I steal? Leather. I'll take your teacups. I'll take that. Hmm. And your charcoal. And your creepy mushroom. Where is everybody? Normally there's people in here. Oh well. Guess I got lucky on this account. Ooh, a torch. Okay, back in route to where I need to go. Yay. There we go. There's some sort of light that's turning the vegetables bad. Don't know. And morning. Oh, that's why I should use the thing, isn't it? I don't want a Papa Joy. Fine, I'll go back to my house and use the train. Because I don't want to lose memories. And that's what I think the joy will do. It'd be creepy if we forgot everything every day. Can never quite tell what tree, which house it's leading me to. No, I don't want more joy. So let's put on my good suit. I will need that. And 
we'll take the train to Maiden Home. Now boarding Epsilon's only on platform three, London Hatchery and Conditioning. Epsilon's only on platform three. I have no idea what he's talking about. Hmm. Sneaky, sneaky. Ah, fond memories carrying from the bombs with Mum, Dad, and Percy. Okay. Oh, that's that's probably the water. I should have filled up water before I left. I forgot this area has a joy tainted water. Okay. So let's make our jolly holiday. No, I'm not taking my joy. You can take your joy. Immediately. You can take your joy. I want I kinda wanna extract them. But I have a feeling the people in this area would not approve. And when one chases you, they all this chase you and expected the future to be. There's not a lot of hidey holes around here. You take your joy. Kinda concerned what's gonna happen when I get to one of the fancier towns. And there are doctors walking around that can just inject my butt with joy. So I really don't want that. That'd be bad. Hmm. Are there people in the fancy home? Yes, there is. I wonder if they'd have a sewing kit. Dangerous cheering traps in here. What is a Turin? Okay, he would see me right away. Wow. Hmm. I'm thinking that'll be better at night time when I can actually... Hopefully everybody's asleep. I want to run, but running is suspicious. And people will chase me. It'd be better if they just chase me like, Oh, this looks fun! Let's run! Alas, they do not do that. Instead, they're like, Ah, oh, you're running! There's something wrong with you. People don't run. I mean, in all reality. No, I don't. Ooh. A new piece of paper. Come on, go to the bottom. Dear Vicar, the Reverend John Dainty, St. Michael's Church, 22 Hither Lane, St. George Home. Dear Vicar, I am writing to you because I was disturbed by the joke you made about a downer in yesterday's sermon. I know everyone thought it was a very funny joke. I love a laugh as much as anyone, and I thought it was funny at the time. But then it began to bother me. Not in the sense of feeling bad or sad, of course, but philosophically. Who are we to mock downers in Christ's church? Did Christ mock the poor and downtrodden? Or did he mock the Pharisees and the hypocrites? Do we really want to start by drowning a hundred downers? Where would we end? I know I'm going on entirely too long about one joke, but it is important to keep up standards, don't you? And as a vicar, we look to you to set the standards, don't you? That doesn't call me, but whatever. It's perfectly fine when Uncle Jack makes jokes about downers. No one takes him too seriously, not when he has his jolly hat on. And I have laughed at many a downer joke. It seems we tell new ones every day. At any rate, they seem new. But in a sermon, shouldn't we have more sympathy? Instead of mocking, shouldn't we be praying for downers to come to their senses and take their joy again? You're most devotedly Sylvia Hackney. Hockney. Can I take yours? No. Well, where's the fun in that? At least they don't get on to me for rummaging, rummaging through the rubbish bins. Oh my! Let's see what we have to deal with here. Oh, I can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. 
the bobbies. Come on, let me through. Lovely day for it. Right okay, so you're not the bobby. I need to talk to you. Are you right. the bobby? No. Okay, no. Um. Talk to the bobby. All right. Right is right. Right is right. Uh, talk to the Bobby. What Bobby am I supposed to talk to? Oh, this Bobby. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. Oh, I'm here to see what's wrong. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links? See? Pull the other one. No, 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 no. Come back in a few days and the council workers will have this all sorted. I need to be dressed like a worker in there. Dang it. If I'm wearing a boiler suit, people are liable to be cross with me. And I even put my boiler suit up. And my house is across town. Let's see. If I jump here, I can run along here. Maybe make a little bit more time. I guess it's good just to keep my suits on me, it's just they weigh so much. I'm glad they don't take up spots like they did in the beta, because six spots for every suit when you only had like 20 spots was insane. I just kind of wish they had little spots to go through. In the beta, you could actually, there were little alleyways and stuff you could access the town through. <laughs> yes, you pant well. Oops, there's a wall there. Okay, I'm close. Good. We'll laugh about this later. Sure, we will. And the stream messed up for a moment. I'm not sure why, but it looks at least. Okay, into town, so no more running. Sometimes I wish there was a little mini map that I could watch up in the corner. But I want to see what her letter said. Where's the fun in that if I can't look at all their letters? You remember the victory. Who remember the victory? What victory? Yay, house. Oh. Looking at the wrong garden. They all look alike. Okay, so back it down into my dungeony area that I live. So we'll take that out. Is there anything I should put in? So I don't need all the shovels. Hmm. I don't need the yam. Save the stew for if I get hungry. Might need those. All this rotten food. Hopefully I can use it for something later. One day I might remember my buttons. There we go. Now I am properly dressed and ready to go out in public. I 
And it's still early. Hmm. Wonder if there will be a way to go in some s houses in some of the other towns. So in the beta, there were like bars and things you could go into. Happy people walking round. They're so joyful and happy. No, I don't want to take any joy. Ever. Okay. So if we go straight and then north. I think the police box glitched. It's not supposed to be in the wall. I'm really not even sure what the police boxes are for, actually. I know the phone booths are joy booths. You take your joy immediately. Yay, I was north first try. See, I'm just not sure what it's for. Can I get any molting out of this thing at all? Nope. So I wouldn't mind having some more filled energy cells. Ooh, a waste bin I hadn't gotten through that had nothing. Ooh, another message. Father James McCartney, St. John the Evangelist Church, South Parade, Wellington Wells. Dear Father McCartney, it was so lovely to bump into you by the fountain the other day. I hope I didn't seem too distracted. I might have had a bit too much joy that morning. You know how it is these days. Has it really been so long since I was an altar boy in your choir? It feels like yesterday. I have a favor to ask of you. It's been some years now, if I remember right, which who knows anymore, that I felt out of step with the rest of the congregation at St. Michael's. More and more, they argue about what Christ's forgiveness means if nobody can remember what they're asking forgiveness for. To tell the truth, I long for the old certainties I had as a boy. I miss absolution. I miss the body and blood. I miss going forth to sin no more. I want to return to the church. But I doubt Gillian would take kindly to my returning to the fold. Her knitting club is all St. Michael's. Her flower arranging friends are St. Michael's. Our neighbors are all St. Michael's. Is it wrong to want to convert in secret and to take mass in secret? I suppose we did in the earliest days of the church, didn't we? I cannot remember the things I have done, but confess, wash all the sins clean, do they not? Would you have me back? Here's most devotedly, Robin Willoughby. That's an awful lot of bobbies. That is an awful lot of bobbies. Um, okay. The dead guy was here earlier. Oh no, they weren't. Lovely weather. Right as rain. Right as rain. Okay, okay. Apparently a couple people were hit by a car. Good. I did it without them seeing me. Not been down this street at all. So with their white painted faces, I bet they'd look pretty neat acting as mu Be fun too if I could well, give I them names. I'm here to see what's wrong. So then that's it easy in and out. Well the bridge works are supposed to pull even when the passages. Haven't you read the manual? Well, sir, I will let you get onto it. He was snarky. Hmm. I do that. So, uh, I would show Oh, what the hell? Oh God, Simon says. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Fantastic! You did it. Here. Oh. I can't keep taking joy. 
You'll forget Percy. Is a choice. Simon says, step on two platform. Ow. Fantastic. You did it. Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? That's what happened. Can They're joining me. <laughs> Step on three lit platforms. <laughs> I didn't say Simon says. Now, Simon says. I don't know which ones. Woo. Got it before I got shot. I don't want joy. Yes, yes, you can. No, it's not. Now, for the last challenge. Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. Oh gosh. I did it. Stop shocking me. Fabulous. Bad Simon whatever says, you are. Step forward through the gate and be sure to enjoy your day. I don't know. Oh gosh. Right. And one more bridge after that. Okay. Out of Wales. We've gotta hide until this joy withdrawals wears off. Well, I guess I need to go around the edge of the island as usual anyway, so we'll do that. First step of every new island exploration, go around the edge. See how big the island is. Everything is so creepy looking when I'm in withdrawal. Dang it, I lost a memory. I threw it up. That's not a good thing. Okay, withdrawal is almost done. Question is, how big is this island going to be? Okay, back to normal. Oh, looky, it looks like a prison. That doesn't look too bad. Size-wise, I mean. I am kind of curious what this is, though. H L. Hmm. How Hall Lab? I don't think I've been in Hayworth Lab since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years um. ago. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight hiccup in the disposition of the lab. And it is hiccup. In isolation. No one in. No one out. It looks kind of bloody to me. And there's a Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Okay. So, it's a chunk of the island. Let's go the rest of the chunk of the island. Good enough, watch your mouth, mister. Let's see where we are quest-wise. Hmm. We and a hill. So there are no apparently berries or petals here. Oh my god. And I mean I'm in no shape, but I can still run more than this guy can, I'm pretty sure. Well, 
Sad feelings are contagious. And what's that? Sad feelings are contagious. I did think I used to run the hundred bases. Oh, I don't think you could now, dude. I'm not even sure you can run 50 meters right now. Okay. So this island's actually pretty decent sized. There's a polar. Woo. So I don't know if you can fall off the edge or not. So far I have not, but I've also not gone to the edge and tried. Prefer to stay away from that edge, just in case, because I could see that happening. Oh looky, it's a cliff. Oh looky, it's the water. Oh looky, I'm dead. So this weekend, I actually have off three days, so I should get some good playing in, hopefully. I mean, I know they said this game's only like 15 hours, and I'm into 19, but I've barely touched the main storyline, so I'm apparently str gonna stretch this 15 hour game out into 20 plus hours. Not necessarily a bad thing. As I do kind of like it. If only it wasn't so much first person, it wouldn't be as bad. We hurdle over the hill. So, yeah, I'll g I should be able to put in another six hours this weekend as long as I stick to my plan. I'm not sure. My boyfriend might have a day off. If he does, we might. I should go do something instead of sitting around the house playing video games for a change. But I will at least for sure play two of the three days. One way or another. So that will happen. They actually had a raffle at work this last week. There were 33 buckets, and I actually won three of them. I won this box of jerky that has a variety, and everything in it is a different flavor, which is kind of neat. So I'll get to try lots of new flavors of the Jack Link's Beef Jerkies. I also got this comforter from Better Home and Gardens. And I got these mm, Doc, I think it's called Doc McDuffin, Doc McGuffin. I don't know, some kid's doll thing to play doctor. Which my boyfriend has lots of little they're not really nieces, nephews, whatever it's his cousin's kids that are the perfect age that I think they will love it so I'll get those to his grandmother and she can put them in Christmas presents for them and hopefully they will love it and they should be doing more bucket drawings in the next few weeks so I think they said they're going to be doing three or four different drawings, and they always have it on payday, which is nice, because if you don't have the money to buy tickets, on payday you can buy tickets and the drawings in the afternoon. Occasionally they also do bake sales. I've never actually made anything for the bake sale. Half the time most other people don't either. Usually they go to like Rick's Bakery or Harp's Bakery or Walmart Bakery or other bakeries in the area and they just buy baked goods and the really sad thing is they pay more for baked goods than they charge at the bake sale but the stuff is really good on occasion I don't know who makes it but there's somebody that makes a grasshopper cake which is chocolate and mint and oh that's pretty wow well it's a delicious cake I like buying it Occasionally I'll also get stuff for my coworkers and take it down and then we all eat. So I mean, come on, food. I'm also thinking the next weekend we work, might have to see if they all want to do another food day because we've got one that's leaving for Japan and she'll be gone for a few weeks. So we need fun before then. I guess so. Because... 
shift bid supposed to be sometime around the beginning of November. I'm hoping nobody really moves, but there's always the chance. So we gotta do fun stuff together before there's a chance of everybody being separated. And I actually got to meet a few jail deputies last night at dinner. We met one of, one of our friends that is a deputy. We were meeting him for dinner. And when we got there, there were five field deputies already eating. And three jail deputies came in as well. So it was kind of neat. Got to meet people. Don't ask me all their names. I don't know. I'm one, not good with names. Especially not remembering names. And two, I'm just, yeah, I don't remember stuff. I'm lucky if I remember things five minutes from now. But I did meet one that I talk to daily. And... Well, not daily, but somebody from my shift deals with her pretty much daily. Because she works the same shift we do. And she always comes across as a... On, on the phone only do we deal with her. But she always comes across very... Biachi. I guess it's kind of a nicer way to put it. So... In person, she was much which is good. Okay, new area to explore. So first up, we need to find a hatch. Is there a hatch yet to be found? Yes. Find the hatch. Uh, what the hell is he? Besides creepy ass. Okay. I don't know what his creepy ass is. And it creeps me out. I don't want my butt injected with joy if you're one of those sneaky doctor types. I found an alleyway. Find the hatch and then we'll probably call it a day for the gaming. Creepy ass is still back there. Okay. But, oh yeah, where was I? She was much nicer in person. Much friendlier. She's actually really pretty too. I guess kind of goes to show you that people are different at work and outside of work. Which I guess is true of anywhere sometimes. Because, I mean, the other day when I called, she started to ask me to call back later, which really can't do. Because when we call them, we have like 10 minutes. And that's it. And we got to get what we're doing and taken care of in that 10 minutes. Okay, it's this way. And that time, she also, there was... Some lady, or... I mean, I'm presuming lady. I don't know. I mean, I've heard some guys scream in a really high-pitched voice as well. So it could very well have been a dude, for all I know. Well, actually, I know now it was a dude. But it was just this high-pitched screaming. It was kind of creepy. Kind of... Odd. So, yeah. Found out later, apparently they had a guy brought in who liked to strip himself down and run around naked. Oh, that smells awful. And fatal. Okay. Well, luckily I have a gas mask. Brilliant! I've made it much, much worse! Yes, yes, don't get the stuff right now. Okay. I think you should excuse yourself. Oh, I need to repair it. There we go. Do you like clean air, sir? Yes, I do like clean air, sir. 
I oh, like yes. clean air. I'm a big fan. Oh. <laughs> Come on, people, have a sense of humor. You better give me something good. You better. I have no idea what I just picked up middle bits. Okay. As management knows, motiline gas fumes are deadly without a gas mask. We, the worker, have repeatedly expressed our concern that our gas masks do not last for the full duration of an extended shift. We, the workers, thus demand a second gas mask for each man. Otherwise, management must cease to demand overtime. Yeah, if only it worked that way. I demand no more ma overtime. I don't see that working very well. If we were to try something like that. Okay. I saw something. Come on, there we go. Duct tape. Woo woo. No danger, my ass. Okay, creepy music, you gotta stop. No recipes. Ooh. Is there anything else back here? Welcome to Wellington Wells, dressed to impress. Be courteous and polite. Take your joy. Headmaster's office. Now to access the hatch. Yay! Okay. Yay, creepy ass music is turned off. And all of these freaking file cabinets are locked. Really? You made me waste a lock pick on an empty file cabinet. Dude. Dude, that's two. Wasted. Hey, why can't I open those? Oh well. Ooh. Not sure what half of that stuff is, but ooh. Pretty sure all this water is joy tainted, so I don't want any tinkle room. Okay, so, oh my gosh. Why are there so many dead people in my houses? You can go to the tinkle room. Because I don't see myself using it much. So tinkle room for you. And we'll deposit a few things. Because... Oh, my weight's not bad yet. So what is this? Increase... Eh, not something I want right now. Don't need bricks. Let's see. Moldy bread. Ew. Don't really want the joy. Okay. Well, it's been our hour. So, I'm going to call it. This has been part 19 of We Happy Few on the Xbox One with Danny Marie 911 Thanks for joining me, and I'll be on tomorrow again at 10 a.m. Central Time for another hour's worth of play. Hopefully on time, because there shouldn't be another 8 gig update. So, see you later.